for your class path. If you are using a spring, spring jars, you need it. If you are using a JDBC connector, connector jar, you need it. So any other jars you need it, you can put it into a pom.xml and automatically download it. Correct. But let's say if you have created your own custom jars the way we have done it. So these jars will not be available in your Maven center. So you can create a repository kind of a thing where you will keep these jars. So there is a system called as a Nexus. So it is also one of the Java based application which can behave like a repository just like a Maven central. Everybody got it. So in that scenario, some of the local custom made jars for which you have created for your project, which you can pull it from your Nexus. So for this repository, if you are using some other repository, Maven Central is by default, which is Maven refers. Okay. <clears throat> so when you run the Maven project, any pom.xml, right? So at this moment, you will see 